Hello students, how do we find the angle between two straight lines? This is from the chapter straight lines for class 11. Now let us consider two lines L1 and L2 as shown here where L1 makes an angle alpha 1 with respect to the horizontal axis which is the x-axis and the line L2 makes an angle alpha 2 with respect to the x-axis and the angle between L1 and L2 is theta and between L1 and L2 here is 5. So this angle is theta and this angle is 5. Right? So we find that theta plus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Theta plus 5 is definitely equal to 180 degrees. These two angles are the adjacent angles. Right? If that is the case, then what is phi equal to? It is 180 degrees minus theta. Now let us observe this figure. Now here I need to find the angle between the two lines which is theta. Now let the slope of line L1 be m. So m1 is nothing but tan alpha 1. And similarly what is m2? m2 is tan alpha 2. So m1 and m2 are the slopes of line L1 and L2. So here we need to find the angle theta. Now what is theta? Theta is nothing but of course 180 minus phi. So let us try to represent theta in terms of alpha 1 and alpha 2 because these are the two angles which is known to us. Now let us observe the figure. Now if I consider this region or it is a triangle so this angle is also theta right they are opposite vertically opposite angles. Now I find that this angle is 180 minus alpha 2. So observe that the sum of all these three is equal to 180 degrees so theta plus alpha 1 plus 180 degrees minus alpha 2 equals 180 degrees right because this represent if I call this as ABC it represents a triangle 180 180 gets cancelled now what is theta theta is nothing but move alpha 2 and alpha 1 to the other side so it is alpha 2 minus alpha 1 so we need to find theta here and we have got theta in terms of alpha 1 and alpha 2 where alpha 1 is the angle made by the line L1 with respect to the horizontal axis. Similarly alpha 2 is the angle made by the line L2 with respect to the horizontal axis. Right? So theta equals alpha 2 minus alpha 1. We need to find tan of theta. So what is tan theta? Tan theta is equal to tan of alpha 2 minus alpha 1. So what is tan a minus b? It is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b. So using that expression it's going to be tan alpha 2 minus tan alpha 1 divided by 1 plus tan alpha 1 into tan alpha 2. But what is tan alpha 1? It is m1. So therefore tan theta is nothing but m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. So now we have got this expression as 1 plus m1 into m2 should is not equal to 0. Right? So we have two cases. So let's see what they are. Case 1. If this expression is positive. right? So if m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 is positive then what happens tan theta is also positive so tan theta is positive if tan theta is positive we know that phi is 180 minus theta so therefore tan phi would be negative in that case theta is acute whereas phi is obtuse Now what is the other case? Case 2. If m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2, if this is negative, then what happens? Tan theta is negative and we have tan phi would be positive. So in this case what happens? Theta is obtuse whereas phi is acute. 
So in general, the acute angle, if we assume that theta is acute, so in general, the acute angle theta between the two lines L1, so the lines are L1 and L2, between the two lines L1 and L2, with the slopes m1 and m2 is given by the expression tan theta equals m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 magnitude as 1 plus m1 into m2 is not equal to 0. So this is the expression what you have to remember. So to view all the other videos for mathematics and physics for class 11, click on the i button and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.